Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League? And learn high level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What is up everybody, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video, and man, I'm super excited to bring you guys this video today. Just got myself a new stream deck, just got myself a brand new light, so you guys can see how the cut's looking on any given day. Yes, I just got a haircut. Chill, let me stop playing, let me stop playing. Let me jump into the real reason why I'm dropping this video, which is to help you guys get better at Madden. Real quick though, I do want to give you guys a little bit of a spiel. Please make sure to hit that like button for me guys. It really helps me out and it really helps me get my tips out to everybody else that I think needs them and can help them get better. So please make sure to do that. And if we get 300 likes on this video, I'm not going to do anything because this is my last video on Madden 19. But you guys know I bring you guys great content. So please smack that like button for me. You guys know I'm going to bring you guys great tips all Madden 20 season long just like I did this year. But if you guys are looking for something extra, make sure you guys check the link in the description below, as well as the card above me for my video that I posted last. It was my previous video. It explained everything I plan on be doing. I plan on doing on hot route tips. It's gonna be such a great year for that man. It's really gonna help you guys get better. If you guys are want, willing to spend the money, make sure you guys check that out because it's gonna help you guys. But I will be bringing you guys free tips, and let's lock in for this video because this is a free tip that I know will help you guys all. It's not gonna be anything glitchy or anything. I don't even have the game on me. It's Madden 19 still, but. These tips are very, very important. I promise you guys, if you lock in and you guys really do them, it will help you guys to be very good Madden 20 players. So let's jump into this video. Enough dilly-dallying. Okay, guys, so the first thing that you could do to be great early on in Madden 20 before all the money plays and the blitzes and everything comes out is mixing up your coverages. So when you're mixing up your coverages, it early on in the year, they don't have every single route that's going to beat every single zone in the game, right? So just mix up your play calls, mixing up what you're doing, and it can confuse people. So I'm just gonna start off cover three sky, right? I'm gonna give everything I do the same look. You wanna give everything you do the same look, right? So I'm gonna cover three look, right? And I'm just gonna do basic, I'm gonna kinda step it up a little bit. So you go from cover three, now I'm in cover two. Make it look the same. They can't tell the difference. Then I can go into cover two man. And these are all looking the same, but it gives off different things. Now obviously this is very basic. Now I'm gonna start getting into a little bit more of an advanced style. So. Say I'm coming out and I have a cover three blitz. I'm just use three three five odd. I don't know the blitzes next year yet, so I'm just use three three five odd. So say I'm sending five people, right? Now I have a cover three look. If I want to put this guy in a hard flat, I can. And I have a cover three look with a blitz, right? Now, and then now they're okay. They're attacking the cover three. They're attacking their cover three. They're pretty much getting them a rhythm with, with, a rhythm with that. Then you go to Tampa two. Maybe you have a blitz out of Tampa two. I'm gonna send this guy. So now I have a five man blitz. With Tampa 2, right? And it's gonna look the exact same, but I'm in a completely different shell. I'm not even blitzing the same guy. This guy right here isn't blitzing anymore, Campbell. I have two guys coming off the edge, and I'm in a completely different shell. They're not gonna know where to attack it. Then I can go to a cover cover zero look. Same exact look here. Uh, I can send six like I am right now, or maybe I can cover this guy out and put him in the uh, put him in the flat. Maybe man this guy up on the running back instead. And I know the tight end's mine. If I want to send five, there's many different things you can do and you can do an advanced style like blitzing or honestly just knowing your holes in your defense. So like if I'm in a Tampa two, right with cloud flats, now I know I don't, I don't want to give up the hard flat, right? But I don't want to double Mabel. Maybe I made this guy up on the tight end. Now, if he goes into a flat and they're running like a stick or corner strike, the cloud flat's going to take away the corner route. The corner's going to take away the flat from the tight end. And then you can just lurk the middle of the field. Maybe you only want to send three people. You can spy this guy out here. There's lots of different things and then I'm in cover three, right? So now I'm playing cover three uh, with hard flats, but I want I don't wanna give up the corner route. So maybe I manned up this guy on the corner route and I put him in the hard flat and I can just not move this guy because I don't wanna give away that I'm not doing the same exact play, but just hide on this guy and then I'm lurking here. Anything like that, like there's different things you can do, but here's why it's so important. Mix up your coverages early on in the year. They don't have the, the crosser or the post that's gonna beat everything, because it's a new year, it's Madden 20. Maybe PA Counter Go and Pat Sale, they're not gonna be great plays anymore. They're gonna have to find new plays, and early on in the year, they're not gonna have it. Just mix up your coverages, giving people the same exact look with a different backside coverage to it, and then maybe you have a blitzes behind it, like I showed you guys, I sent two different uh, people out of Tampa 2 and out of Tampa 3, doing something like this. It'll really, really help you guys be successful. This is what I used in Madden 18 when I earned, uh, won an early tournament. I was mixing in 
cover three and cover two blitzes, just having different shells out there, and it really threw people off, and I had a lot of success with it. So let's move on to number two. Okay, guys, so very quickly, I'm cutting this after the video, but I'm putting it in the middle in the section that it applies. I just got news. Clint Oldenburg went on Twitch. He told us about the changes on defense with the adjustments. So linebackers and D-linemen, if you want to adjust them now, in the, pa in the past years, it's been LB, LB, and then you can adjust individually, do whatever you want to do. For linebackers, it's RB, RB, right? Well, now it's looking like it's going to be for D line left on the D pad, which it still works now, but you're not going to have the other option for next year. So you're going to have to learn this now. Left on the D pad, and then LB to do the next one, right? So you're going to want to practice this. You're going to, you're going to want to have it down. So instead of if I want to spread my line, instead of LB left stick up, it's going to be left on the D pad, left uh, left stick up, and spread them out. If I want to crash out, I'll do left on the D-pad, right stick up. And honestly, I'm very slow at it. I've been trying to learn it. You guys need to jump into Mad 19 and do this. It's going to help you guys get so much better, so much quick, like so much quicker than everyone else. You're going to be ahead of the curve with adjusting. If I want to spy my DT, left on the D-pad, LB, spy X, right? So just practice that, get in the rhythm of it, get used to that, and get used to the linebacker. So right on the D-pad, RB, spy, get used to it. I know I will be around the D-pad. I'm getting pretty quick at it. I've been practicing a little bit. But definitely something we're going to have to work on, guys. I'm just going to put this in there really quick. I want to get that section in, but enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, guys, number two. Early on in the year, people don't have run defense. Later on in the year, people know how to shoot the gap. Maybe they have a certain setup that they like that a guy will come free and hit your run. And they'll know the meta run, so they'll, have, they'll be able to go into practice mode, lab up how to stop them. And when they go into a game, they'll be ready for them. But it's early in the year. They haven't labbed up run defense. So the, rate, the way to counterattack that is have a good run play that you like to go to. I'm just gonna use tight slots dive just for the sake of this video, but it doesn't really matter what the run is. I personally like a run out of a three wide receiver, one tight end set, because I'm usually gonna be in trips tight end or something with three wide receivers. So I can come out of the huddle, quickly audible to something with three wide receivers like tight slots dive and make them respect the run while respecting my pass. Now I'm always a passer the past two years, but the threat of the run is very, very important, especially early in the year. So just find a run that you can go to that will give people trouble. Like tight slots dive, if I'm in trip side end, I'm dotting you, I'm dotting you, I'm dotting you. Then they start to get a rhythm. I quickly audible into tight slots dive right out of the huddle. Now I can't show you that because I'm in practice mode, but uh, just right out of the huddle, as soon as I come out of my play, quickly audible to dive. They already set up their pass defense for trip side end or whatever I'm in, right? So they set up their blitz, they set up their adjustments. I quickly audible down to dive, quick hike it. They're not ready for it and they're not gonna be able to stop it because they already don't have the run defense it's too early in the year for them to have it so i know this is a quick tip but i promise you guys this will work and you guys should add it to your game okay guys number three i like to go into practice mode and find man beating routes early on in the year people really 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 like to just run man because we haven't had a lot of time to just go into practice mode lab up what it beats man what beats man press all the different things what beats cross man so since people don't have offense for it they're able to just come out in like a cover zero or a cover one and just spam it on you and you can't beat it because you don't know what the man beaters are. Especially going into the next year, if it's anything like the beta, man was pretty good. So just going into practice mode, I think just finding different man beaters will help you guys. For example, this year, there was uh, like comebacks. Comebacks beat man every single time. So Julio will never get guarded by a comeback. He will always win, no matter what, if you throw it with the right timing. Finding routes like that, uh, double move routes, uh, I don't have one in this uh, in this formation right at the top of my head, but a post that maybe cuts like it's a corner and then cuts back on the post, you can throw that post right on the break and make it into a corner route. Um, just different things like that. Curl routes. Curl routes were really good in Madden 20. Um, if you throw them right at the right timing, they'll be wide open just like that. You can get really good timing. And a lot of the times, the defender will just literally sit behind the guy unless you throw the curl right there. He'll just literally stand behind him so you can throw it. Just go into practice mode, find the man beating routes. Don't let people, please, please don't go into mud head to head and let these guys spam man to man, nothing else on you. Please, I'm begging you guys. At least make them put cloud flats out there. But then you have different routes that will beat man. Like you have Pat Sale on the outside. That will usually beat man. Uh, maybe not next year because we're not in next year. I can't show you. But this year it did. Just stuff like that, guys. It will help you tremendously. Go into practice mode, find many routes, or just come to my channel. You know I'm going to be posting them. So that's number three. Let's get into number four. Okay, guys, number four. This one's very important because 
it'll allow you to be able to get a rhythm against guys that will mix it up. You're going to be playing different people. You're going to be playing weekend league. You're going to be playing mud head to head. You're going to be playing maybe regs money games. Who you maybe going to players lounge or gamer saloon something like that. You guys are going to be doing different things. So you're going to be facing tons of different kinds of people doing tons of different things. So what you need to do is be able to know your scheme against every single possible thing that you can go against. So if you're going against somebody who's blitzing, right? I'm going to be in cover two here. You're going to see baseline press here and just send all my linebackers, right? With one guy lurking. So I'm sending six, right? Let's move this guy out. But so I'm sending six. I guess somebody who wants to send six, here's what you're going to want to do. There's two things that you want to do. First, you're going to want to be able to send five out. So I always, like very early this year, I think the second day, now obviously this guy's in baseline press, so you'll be able to pass lead outside. I don't want to do that, so just be able to move him. But this year, if you, if I had this probably the second or third day I'm at, and I had a five out play that I love to go to that I knew could kill people. So if they're sending six, I can instantly throw this in route. And then I have, if they send the six out like a cover three shell, let me show that. Send all my linebackers. And then yeah, let's put this guy in the flat and then act like this is the user, right? So they have no one in their flat right now. Set back up the same exact play. If I see that they have no flat, I can hit my flat. There's so many different reads. And then obviously I have my table route and my corner route that I could throw early. I'll quickly do that for you guys. I can throw that right there and then I can hit my table route. So there's a million different things I can do out of five out. So find your five out plays. I like to have two, at least two five out plays that attack different parts of the field that if they're sending six at you, they can't possibly guard you if you just make a quick read. So I have that first. And then the second thing is a max pro play. So I probably had three, four really good max pro plays that I really like to go to, right? So one of them was counter go. I don't have that in my audibles, but we can just use PA slot corner. Um, just, this isn't a play I would do, but let's just act like it. So I have two different ways I can max pro. I can block my tight end and my running back, like the normal way, or I can max pro with my receiver, which I also like to do a lot because it helps me block outside and like nickel corner blitzes. And then I have a max pro play. Now this isn't the best play. It ends up getting open over here, but it's not my choice max pro play. But you want to have like three, maybe four really good max pro plays that you can pick up the blitz, give yourself enough time to pick up some yards and beat it. So you want to have five out plays because you want to be able to kill blitzers and you need max pro plays to kill blitzers. Now, I said you need to be ready for every opponent. So if someone's playing coverage every play, you don't need, you need other max pro, I mean, excuse me, other five out or four out plays that will kill people that play eight in coverage. So if they're in, say they're doing this, this is what you're gonna see online a ton, especially early in the year. You're gonna see Tampa, uh, excuse me, cover three sky with cloud flats, and then either a spy or probably another hard flat or three wreck or something. Or you're gonna see Tampa two with a spy, middle linebacker in the deep blue, and then a user, right? So this is what you're gonna see, and this is the user. You're gonna see these two plays. So now, this play is great for blitzes, right? I have the outside in route that I can read, I have the flat if they're in a cover three blitz, I have my table route and my corner route. And then I have the seam read. So everything's read against, but if they're in like a eight person coverage, this is taking away the seam streak. This takes away the corner out early. They can literally just like, and then the spy might take away the, the in route. Maybe they'll do this and spy this guy. Like that takes, this vertical hook takes away the in route and they can just lurk down the table route. Table route's not open, come back to the in route late and everything is boxed, right? So this is maybe, the, this is probably not the best five out play for coverage, right? But if you have, if you want a good five out play for coverage, maybe you have, here, here, and him on a fade, and him on an option route, right? So you have double drags, and then you have a curl route out of the backfield with your running back. Maybe you want to just curl him instead. And then you actually have a lot of good spacing. And I'll show you all the different reads in the replay. Now I'm just giving you guys examples. You guys don't have to do this. You guys can do your own plays, obviously. I don't even know if this play is gonna work next year. I'm just saying you need a play that you can go to where five out they have to cover everybody. So now they need to have a hard flat over here. They need a hard flat over here, but then they have the post getting deep. And if they have a hard route, you can probably throw the fade early. Like if this is a hard flat and he jumps down right here, you can probably throw this fade like in this pocket right here. And then you have the post over the middle and then you have it late, right? So it's like 
you have reads all over the field. The goal to attack coverage is having five viable options that can get open against coverage. Five, and then against a blitz, a five out is just five quick routes that I can easily throw that will be open areas because when you're blitzing people, you obviously don't have zones out there to cover everything. So that's number four. Let's jump into the final one. Okay, guys, my fifth and final tip for being great early on in Madden 20 is just playing the game. I can tell you guys all the things that I do, just like I said. Having having out having good plays against blitzes and against coverage, having man beating routes, having a good run play, mixing up your coverages on defense, all those things are great. They're gonna help you get better. I promise. I hope these guys are these are these are helpful for you, but you have to play the game. You have to learn how it feels. You have to learn the running mechanics. You have to learn exactly what your zones are gonna do. Now my videos in Madden 20, they are gonna help you, I promise. If you watch them, they will help you guys get better, but you have to play. I can't play for you. You can't. I can't learn it for you. You have to play. You have to get used to playing different people, used to making your reads, used to knowing when to call a run play, when to call what pass plays that you like, what situations, what, what timing. All those things you're gonna learn by playing. I can't do it for you guys, I really can't. I wish I could, but you guys just have to play the game. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I honestly thought it was. It helped remind me of what I like to do at the beginning of the year to help me make sure I'm ready to play. So I hope it's gonna help you guys be ready as well. But without further ado, let's end this thing. Hope you guys enjoyed, take it easy, peace.